having one of those existential angst kind of moments. It's like, well, it's 2 a.m. I'm in bed. I have to plug my Mac in though, so. Um, I hope he's a little bit upset that I'm still awake. But yeah, so. I, where do I start? I don't even know. I guess it's like, it's Facebook crap. I keep getting into arguments with people, I can't help it. Um, yeah, I don't know, I've offended so many people now. I just, you know, I have opinions. I like to get them out of my head so they stop going round and around for a bit. But then of course people comment and I can't help myself. It's the same with fucking Twitter. Get douchebags making really unintelligent comments. Um, I've sort of learnt to just block them and ignore them and, you know, try to get on with my life. Whereas Facebook is a bit different because, well, I know a fair few of them. There are a lot that I don't know. I just add them because they're music contacts. Um, and it's hard to filter out which ones are worth having around and which ones aren't. I probably need to cut down on people at some point. It's just getting out of hand. But yeah, there are a few, quite a few people I know on Facebook, and when they comment, um, I can't really ignore it in the same way as Twitter. I mean, Twitter is just faceless douchebags writing in 140 characters. You can't really have much of a conversation. And when it's people I know, um, sometimes, like, if if it's people that I did have um, some kind of admiration for, and they say something stupid, that makes me sad. And then there are a lot of people who are just kind of acquaintances, and then they go and say something stupid, and, um, I've actually unfriended a few people for that, because, you know, they're, they're just not people I want to work with, especially the ones who are all men's rights crap, the anti-feminist stuff. Uh, I'm not even going to get started on that bullshit. But yeah, like, you know, obviously if people have something against women, I'm a woman, so yeah, probably not people they want to work with because it's not going to end well. So yeah, it just makes no sense to keep those people around. And then there are people who I just get sick of having them pop up all the time just to argue. There was, the, there was at least one person who would only ever perk up when um, I said something they disagreed with. And I'm like, if you just want to have a fight, why are you following me? Or Because I mean, you can block people from your feed on Facebook. You can unfollow them, hide them from your f- timeline, whatever. I don't know what they call it now. They keep changing it. Um, but yeah, they just don't do that and they keep popping up for arguments. And then, um, some of the other ones, I'll say something that is anti whatever they stand for, and then they want to have a big argument about that. Um, but yeah, I can't censor what I think just to stop offending a few people. Um, so I've offended some of my vegan friends, um, but, you know, they're a little bit more open-minded, those guys, so they kind of just get over it and everything's fine again. Um, but yeah, there are some people I've offended who just keep going on and on and on until I get sick of them and just, yeah. Um, and then you get... Every now and then you unfriend someone and they get all boohoo about it and block you as if you're like if as if that means anything to you. I'm like if I unfriended you, I don't give a shit if you block me. The point is I don't want to talk to you. Uh, but it's, you know, one of those childish things people do to try and get the last blow in. Um 
especially if it's right after unfriending. Um, I mean, the purpose of blocking is when someone doesn't get the message and they keep saying shit. At least in my view. Um, yeah. But anyway, um, that's the newsfeed thing, right? Um, usually when I get notifications on Facebook, I sort of, like, click on the drop-down menu. If it says like or whatever, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever, I, I don't really need to go and look at what people have liked. Um, but when it says comment, I go and check. Um, because, you know, maybe there's a discussion to be had or something humorous, which is turning out to be more relaxing than the actual discussions. Uh, I guess I have that many friends on Facebook. Friends on Facebook, because, you know, I don't even know half of them. That, um... There are just so many opinions and you're bound to bump into someone who wants to have an argument. Oh, it gets tiring. But anyway, so I generally look more at comments than likes, but um, the last couple of days, um, a whole bunch of likes came up in a row. So I went and had a look. I'm like, holy fuck, all these people who, a lot of them I don't even expect to give a crap about me. They've just liked this post. Which means they haven't hidden me from their timelines. And that surprises me because I post a lot. I can't help myself. I post a lot. And a lot of it is just crap. Like, you know, today in class I did this and this and this kind of stuff. Like, who really cares? But, yeah, people don't unfollow me. Um... And that's kind of, yeah, I've been thinking about it a couple of days now. It's kind of made me feel a bit weird. I'm not sure if it's a good weird or a bad weird at the moment. I mean, on the one hand, I'm a bit of an attention seeker, I guess. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have started video blogging. Um, but on the other hand, you know, I just need to get shit out of my head. And Facebook's like a diary that I can't just throw out. I've tried to keep diaries so many times before. It never works. Um... And, you know, like, even YouTube, it's pretty easy to, to delete a video if I want. But Facebook, you know, not so much. Um, yeah, and I just... It's a bit like when I first started video blogging. I never expected anyone to actually watch me. And then with Facebook, I just didn't expect that many people to give a crap about anything I have to say. Because most of the time it's crap. Um... I guess since the uh, budget came out, I've probably said more political stuff, um, more things that people might actually care about. And my Twitter's kind of gotten a bit more uh, of a following because of some of that. Um, but, you know, that's more of a recent development. I would have thought most people would have unfollowed me ages ago, um, except maybe my, some of my closer friends. But no, there are people who I'm pretty sure I don't even know them in real life. You know, they're sort of like friend of a friend of a friend. And they're following me and it's just... I don't know. I've got kind of this existential thing going on where I'm like... I don't know, how am I being noticed? What? What's the point of it? What's the point of my existence and stuff? Um, yeah, people are strange, and like, when you also think about different relationships with people, I mean, I don't have a relationship with these people. Um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're my actual friends, then there are the acquaintances, and then there are complete randoms, as far as I can tell. Um... I don't know why they add me, because not all of them are just doing it to promote something. I mean, a lot of people add you and try to promote, but there are a lot of people who don't, so I'm like, do, do I know you from somewhere? I'm really bad with the social thing. Um, I'm really bad with the social thing. Uh, like, did I mention the whole RSVP experiment? I probably did. Wow, that was such a bad idea. I eventually got banned, um, 
because, uh, yeah, they finally noticed my username was crazy bitch. <laughs> yeah, they don't like having bitch in the username, even though it was kind of funny and, you know, but I guess it was obvious trolling, um, because some of my, uh, description of myself was a bit like that. Um, but, you know, it, it was an interesting experiment, but it's so not me. Um, oh, wake up, computer. There you go. That's better. Um, yeah, no, I just don't see that whole relationship thing happening again for me. I don't even know how it happened in the first place, because it's pretty hard to get close to me. I'm pretty suspicious of just about any dude um, who tries to get too close to me at the moment. Um, yeah, and it's frustrating because I want to do, um, well, I've been thinking about singing in a band again, and I put an ad out, but, um, it's tough because if I expect that guys are mostly going to be hitting on me, it's kind of hard to tell if, um, you know, collaboration offers are legit, or if it's just, you know, a dude trying to start up a conversation using the whole music thing as an excuse. And it's frustrating trying to work that shit out. So yeah, I'm pretty hard to get close to, and, um, yeah, I think it's just a whole lot of effort. Um, I, I guess I can see how it's a bit sad, because, um, yeah, well, I guess because that's the other thing, the existential thing. I don't really know where my life is going at the moment. Um, I mean, one of the things about being in a relationship is you kind of have some kind of goal where, you know, you're working towards a, a life together or something, and it's not just about you and your head, um, as much effort as it is. Uh, but yeah, it kind of takes away that I don't know what I'm doing with my life stuff, you know, you don't have to worry about that so much. Um, so I think, you know, maybe that's one of the reasons I think about the relationship thing every now and then, you know, more as like, a, um, I need something to distract me from the existential thing, uh, rather than, I don't know, it, it's interesting, every now and then I come across a dude who's like written something like, and this is on RSVP as well as Facebook. Every now and then you'll find a dude who writes something like, I need a girlfriend. What do you mean, need? I mean, I'm like, just any girlfriend? Like, that that's just a recipe for disaster, you know? Um, need. Uh, gee, I don't know about that. Um, I think they haven't really thought it through. And it just makes them seem desperate and, you know, need. Wow. You need a girlfriend? Are you not good enough on your own? And if you're not good enough on your own, why should any girl really want to... Like, you know, that's the thing. You've got to... really ought to be working on yourself. Because if you work on yourself and you improve yourself, you're more likely to be attractive. And that's where some of those guys are going wrong, I think, is they're too whiny and, you know... I don't know. I find everyone unattractive, so <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person to rant about that, but, you know, I guess it's even less attractive than the usual stuff that's unattractive about people. It's like the whole whiny thing, like, why me, why don't I have a girlfriend? Anyway, um, so yeah, the, the existential thing, relationships being a distraction from your own inadequacy, maybe. Um... I mean, yeah, like, there's genuine feelings for some of them, but other times I, I kind of get the impression that people just need to be in a relationship to escape something in their heads, maybe. But, oh, God. All that stuff brings up different problems and different complications and takes up time. Um, you know, because it is a huge distraction. But, yeah, uh, so... Yeah, I don't really see that happening for me. Um, but, you know, can't close the door too tightly. Just, you know, I'm too suspicious, and i got my own shit to do. But then again, do I really have my own shit to do? This is the thing I've been thinking about, because um, 
So I finished my internship and I don't really know that I'm cut out for the recording studio thing. Um, yeah, it was hard work, long hours, and I, I, I still have these real extremes to my personality. So on the one hand, there's that mathematical objectivity, there is one right answer, or maybe like a couple of right answers, but you know, um, it's very set. And I think that's what I'm enjoying about electronics at the moment, because if it works, you've done it right. If it doesn't work, you haven't done it right. I mean, of course, you can vary some things, but, you know, if it doesn't give you the right outcome, you know you've done something wrong, and you can go back and fix it. Um, yeah, and then on the other side, there's the whole subjective thing, where you can do art, and you can just have total creative freedom, whatever. But the... Recording engineer, mixing, mastering, all that stuff kind of fits in the middle. So, on the one hand, you have some set goals to achieve. But on the other hand, they're always changing depending on genre, your client, uh, the current fashion for that genre, um, what your ears are like on that particular day will affect it and all. And, you know, there's not really a right or wrong answer. There are some answers that are better than others. Um, but it's not a set thing. And on the other hand, there's not enough creativity for me to really be like, yay. Um, so I think that was an important thing I learned from the internship, is like, you know, some more of the realities of it. I learned some cool stuff, though, but, you know, thinking about my life at the moment. Um, also, I did that live sound internship a while ago. Um, yeah, I wasn't really into that, and if I was mixing a band that I actually liked, I'd, I'd probably be a little bit annoyed that I couldn't be up the front, you know, having a good time. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, live sound and recording engineer, I don't know about Another thing with recordings, I don't know how good my ear is yet, but I've still got a year of, um, before I graduate, so three more recording projects, and I guess we'll see how I go, but just not really feeling it at the moment. So if I don't do those things, what are my options? I mean, <sighs> the thing I'm realising is anything else that I want to do will involve extra study. I'm sick of studying. I really am. And then, you know, who's to say I won't find something else at the end of it and then just keep studying? I don't want to be a professional student. I want to hurry up and work already. I mean, I am working, but, you know, crappy retail job. Um, you know, it's a good uni job, but in terms of life, I don't know. So, yeah, like, if I went into acoustics, yep, I'd have to study more, get qualified, and it's more mathematical, analytical, it's not really creative at all. Um, and if I go into electronics, yep, still have to do more study, because even if I work it out for myself, people want to see that piece of paper. I suppose for that, though, I could do some kind of TAFE thing and, you know, get an okay job. Still, more study. Now what else can you do with it? Teach. But I wouldn't teach in a high school, I'd have to be tertiary. But, I don't know, even my uni is wanting all the teachers to have master's degrees. So, there you go, more study, again. It's just frustrating, I'm so sick of studying. So yeah, I'm a little bit lost as to what I'm doing with my life at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm in the arts party. This is a, uh, the whole budget made me more political. I'm like, well, I guess I can see how to go with that. Uh, what else? But yeah, that's not career kind of thing. That's just like activism. Um, and then, yeah, there's the band thing. Maybe do my own project. 
I can get around to it, get myself some discipline and actually write shit. Um, artist type stuff, but, you know, good luck making a living on that. So yeah, I'm kind of fucked. Don't know what to do with myself. And that's why I get this sort of existential stuff. Um, I mean, life's pretty good. It's just it doesn't always feel good. Like, you know, there's a bit of a disconnect between what I think and what I feel. And, you know, because, oh, well, it's 2.30. Um, yeah, because it's late and I'm probably more feeling than thinking at the moment. Um, feeling a bit like I could just curl up in a ball and disappear. Um, not really in a suicidal way, just like, I'm tired of existing. I guess that's what sleep's good for, you can pretend you don't exist for a few hours. If I can get to sleep, my mind's going and going and going. Um, yeah, what am I going to do? I don't have a clue right now. And, yeah, oh, there's a multiple personality thing. If you have a point for some stuff, I mean, I'm still not entirely sold on all the things she's saying, but when you think about it, I do get some pretty intense obsessions for a while, and then they drop off. And I'll come back, and then they drop off. And I can go between being really technical and mathematical and being really artsy, like I was saying before. Yeah, I guess I do have some pretty different mental states from time to time. Being depressed definitely felt like a different person. Um, but yeah, there are these more subtle changes in day-to-day -day life that I don't really notice. Um, it's like, you know, with this electronics thing. I, I'm pretty into it at the moment, but I really don't know how long it's going to last. I mean, I've bought so many supplies... Maybe it's a bit of a manic thing, but I've never been diagnosed with bipolar, so I'm probably not bad enough. Like, I'd be, um, what's the less severe form of manic? I can't remember right now. But yeah, so I've got all this electronic stuff, it's going okay. Um, but when I think about it, I've also got heaps of, um, art supplies that I haven't used in ages. I've also got heaps of musical instruments that I haven't touched in ages. I've also got um, knitting stuff, a Diablo. I just have all this stuff that at the time I was like, yeah, this is really cool. And I was obsessed with it for a little while and then it dropped off, so... Like, I can't even trust myself to stay interested in things, and that makes it hard in terms of searching for careers. And it's frustrating, because I know I'm capable of a, a fair bit. I mean, I have the intelligence. Um, even my body is reasonably good at moving. You know, I used to do dance and stuff. Um, and I did pretty well at that. So I do well at a lot of things. It's just... You know, everyone has a weakness, and I think my weakness... Well, my biggest weakness would be just the state of my mind. Um, I was talking to mum about this. Like, I know I'm capable of so many things in terms of intelligence and whatever. But I'm just not stable enough. And I do have mental health issues. You know, if I'm not doing something I like, if I feel trapped, I'm bound to get depressed. It, it does seem to be a situational thing for me. Um, I mean, I'm still on the antidepressants, even though I've been feeling good for a while. Um, it's hard to know if they're having effect, though. But yeah, I'm a little bit scared to come off them if, um, my doctor decides it's alright. Uh, but yeah, the situation... And you know, it's winter. I do tend to get a bit bummed in winter. And it can become depression if I'm not careful. Um, but also, now that I've identified some of these existential issues and like career and life, 
I think that puts me a little bit at risk as well, because I'm just going to go and think about this stuff more and more and more. I've already been thinking about it for a few days, and that's how I'm now rambling for a long time. This is probably my longest video in ages. Yeah, it's frustrating. It's like, I keep stopping myself from progressing in life, and it's really... I, I know I can do better if only I can get my mind on track, and it just won't go on track. I just go from obsession to obsession. You know, a long time ago it was dinosaurs, and I can still remember some of that shit about different time periods and different animal names. For a while it was psychology, for a while it was dragons, for a while it was ancient Greek myths, for a while it was ancient Egyptian myths. And Atlantis, and cults, religions, um, yeah, the knitting, and the art, and music, and audio, and electronics, and I just keep, ah, uh, it's so frustrating. And it's like, what is my future going to be like? I do have to worry about that. Um, I don't have any direction, I don't have any huge reasons to stay alive, basically. Um, yeah, so that's me doing that. I've probably talked about it before, like, I can do the sort of suicidal thinking without feeling bad, because it's just like, well, sometimes it just seems like a logic thing, like, I know it's not really the greatest idea, but it's like, it's hard to shake that idea if, if I'm not doing anything if my life isn't going anywhere, why not, like, why, not, not, not necessarily thinking about killing myself, it's more like wondering why I'm alive, why I exist, it's one of those constant questions, um, but I mean, you know, when I, when I start thinking about those things, I'm like, oh, but I love Hopi, Hopi's my baby, I've got to look after him, <laughs> He's adorable, he probably wants me to shut up and go to bed, and oh my god, how long have I been rambling for? Fuck, that's almost half an hour. Well, some people have been asking me to do more interesting videos than just all of that electronics, I hope you're happy now. Um. Hmm. Life's so weird. It's so different from anything I could have expected as a kid. Yeah, it really does feel kind of pointless. But then I gotta wonder, like, people watch these videos I make. People read what I put out on Facebook. And they don't unfollow me. So people care, and I mean, of course, there's family and friends and shit. But even completely random people seem to get something out of my existence, and I find that very bizarre. Maybe because I don't care about people much. You know, like... I don't go out of my way to find out much about people. Things come up on my newsfeed, but I'm not so much looking at what, who the people are, it's more just what the content is. And if I notice the same person's giving me crap content, that's when I unfollow them, but otherwise I don't notice a whole lot. There are a few people I notice, but for the most part, I just... I don't want really to give a crap about other people, so I guess that's why it's hard for me to understand why anyone would give a crap about me. I mean, if you look at my Twitter account, I follow about 10 people, and I'm followed by about 30. And I think that, like, you know, you, if you look at other people's accounts, it's usually the opposite way around. They follow more people than they're followed by. And I think that kind of shows a bit of my attitude to people, is I just don't find enough people interesting to follow. 
And the people I do follow don't post much either. So most of the time when I go there, it's just me talking to myself. People retweeting my stuff, but yeah, like that, that screen that pops up, it's just me talking to myself. Maybe that, was, that, that, that does seem to be the reason why I find it hard to understand why anyone would give a crap about me. Uh, like, it's nice that they do, because, um, uh, I guess, you know, as a human, I do want my existence validated because we're social animals and there's just sort of that instinct, but it's weird. There's some weird thing going in my head at the moment. It's like, you know, I don't care about other people unless they're looking at me, maybe. You see, there's like an imbalancy. There are more people looking at me than I'm looking at. It just seems mixed up somehow. I can't even articulate what that thought is. Oh, whatever. You've had enough rambling. That was half an hour. That's all you're getting. I'm going to bed. Well, I'm in, I'm in bed, but I'm going to attempt the sleeping thing. Well, I, don't know, I guess I'll upload this in the morning, maybe. Hmm. <sighs>